Hey guys, Sausage here, and as you can see, we're in Minecraft. Oh yes, we're back. I'm here with Magma Jaw, the guy on screen, super close up. And I have some news about the whole Minecraft thing. Now, I am a huge Minecraft fan, massive Minecraft fan. Um, but for some reason, I've just not been in the mood for doing any Minecraft on the channel, and it's shown because there's been a couple of loose videos here and there. But it's time I did some more. Um, I was going to continue the whole feed the beast farming thing that I had before, but that kind of has gone. My PC died and I lost everything on it and I just had to completely reinstall Windows again and yeah, it sucks. So hard. So what I'm going to do instead is, rather than just bash dirt, that's not what I'm planning on doing the entire time, I will be building, uh, what is it, I'm going to be building some good stuff on, on this bit of um, map. This is uh, Feed the Beast again, um, it's Yogcraft. So there's not as much in as, say, the Feed the Beast Ultimate pack, but there is still some good stuff here. And I will be building up a nice science lab so I can put a load of stuff inside it. But I thought rather than build that off screen, I give you guys some footage for once, uh, some Minecraft to watch, and... Who knows, maybe you'll like it, maybe you're not. It's just a trial thing, you see. So, I'm going to build the whole science lab on cam, uh, just to see what you guys think. Uh, bear in mind, I won't be speeding the footage up. So those people that do those let's build things and have, like, reams of footage and just speed it all up super fast and super quick. I don't have the means to do that. Might have some gold. Um, but... So yeah, uh, what I will be building will be built in real time. So those people that like the speed build things, yeah, you probably don't want to watch this. This might bore you to tears. <laughs> other than that, I don't know what else to say, really, other than enjoy what I'm building and, yeah, have fun. Right, so let's get into this. Um, don't need grass no more. Right, iron. We we'll need iron because building a science lab, for God's sake. Gold sounds good, so I'll keep you over here. Uh, what else do we have? Because there's so many building blocks. Uh, silver, it's a... Mm, no, that will do. Uh, tin, yeah, I'll have some of that. Copper, who knows? Any metal, really. It's science lab. I mean, come on. You're going to need some form of metals around. Uh, ruby, it's a bit expensive. What do I want to build walls out of? I don't know, but I always had science labs in my head as some kind of like metal structure with um, different things here and there and I need more doors than that aren't I it's got like all kind of crazy machines whizzing things around everywhere so I'm gonna try and replicate that somehow in my head don't know how uh, where's machine block that makes a nice building material might be good for a floor or some walls or something uh, what else do I want I have tin don't I yes different tin Uranium, not a good idea to build out of. Might blow a hole in the floor. Done that plenty of times. Uh, what else do we have here? What to build out of? What to build out of? So many tools, so many tools. So many ideas in your head and you can't really put them all on paper. Or in this crate, crate, or in this case, grass. I was trying to say case and grass and came out with crace. New word, added to a dictionary. Could be a new thing. Oh, these red power things. Lamps. Lamps would be nice. Do we have inverted lamps on this? I could have swore we did. Uh, I know we have the extra woods and the extra trees. Uh, that will become in handy. Although I don't see how a science lab would be wooden. Meh, I don't know. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? There's so many things. Jeez. And I picked this, I picked this one so it has less. There's more. An ice wall. Does that melt? Be useless if this melted. Does it melt? Hang on, let's put a torch next to it. Doesn't look like it melts. I like that. But a normal block of ice does melt next to a torch, doesn't it? Because it's not in the right biome for it to stay frozen 
That should turn into water. Yes? No? Screw it, I'll leave it. Right, what else shall we build out of? Um, let's use some of these for now. Let's start with like... Well, does this have steel? Does this have steel? Yes, it does. Uh, oh, it's nice and dark. That'll be good for you something, I hope. Steel plates. No, right, we'll use iron to start with. Maybe some silver. Um, throw these down here and let's get building. That doesn't melt. That is very nice. Okay. I'm going to refrain from using torches in this place. So let's see. We need a fairly decent flat area of land for this. So let's bash this piece of grass in over here. Um, I don't know what shape I'm going to build it. But it's going to be nice. I'm a fairly fast builder. I do a lot of more building in Minecraft than I do anything else in Minecraft. I, I kind of played vanilla to death. And it doesn't matter how many new updates they add to it. It just doesn't revitalize it for me because it's just the same samey thing really it pretty much is race until you get diamond get to the nether uh, after you've been to the nether and you get geared out in like diamond armor and diamond swords you can get yourself all enchanted gear go kill the dragon game done not really nothing anything new that's like overly game breaking I mean they add more redstone stuff but that only kind of Makes you want to play um, creative still, so you can build with stuff like that. Right, there's holes in the floor, but who cares? Okay, uh, shall we start with iron blocks? Let's see. Um, this is going to be a nice. I don't want it to be square one. I don't want it to be just a basic square lab, because uh, everyone builds giant cube things. So I want mine to be a weird shape. So let's see. I like odd numbers too to fit the doors in properly. Start with a flat front. Let's have a flat front, love. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So let's see. Uh, that's 13. Oh, God, I hate maths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the middle. So that'll be where our door will go. Right. I always like to map that out first. Okay, so that should be the front. Then I want you to come out here like this make you rounded there and then one two three four five and then make you again rounded here and then one two three four five but rather than finishing it and joining it back round again I will build you out this way uh, da -da. Ooh, crap. that way So yeah, once this is all built, I will then take a look at what actual packs we have on here, like actual mods. I know there's forestry and there's build craft and there's food craft and lots of other things. Once it's finally built, I will use the lab to actually legitimately play one of those and go into it. I like that. Um, so yeah, it, it looks like a bit of a kidney shape forming, doesn't it? Like if I join this up round here, it will turn into like a little kidney shape. Uh, Let's see, uh, let's round this out at least then. But yeah, I shall be playing it legit. I don't know which one I'll go into yet. So that's that. Uh, smash away all the dirt. This is going to be one weird looking lab. Go away chicken. Okay, so that's five, so we'll go, oof, it's that, no, it's that, yeah, that's it, go away, wow, he did, listen, finally, then we, go away, oh, it's getting night, doink, I would install Optifine on this, so I can actually set this permaday, so I can, um, so I can actually, like, build in permaday without keep swapping the daylight, but for some strange reason, I can't seem to find where I would install it on these mod packs, like Feed the Beast, for example, or um, Tech It. I can't actually find the um, Minecraft jar folder. I have checked the app data place in Roaming and whatnot, but I can't find it in there. 
it just comes up saying mod I do see something that says mod packs but it doesn't look like it's the right thing because I don't see the Minecraft Dark thing that we use. So if anybody knows how to do that, so I can actually put Optifine on this, so I don't have to keep swapping it from day all the time, then yeah, please put it in the comments below and I will, you will be my bestest, bestest friend in the entire universe. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Do it now. Right, that should be enough of that smashed in. Um, yeah, now we'll do this bit. Right, one. Nope. Screw it, we'll just do this. Do a straight line so I can actually get some machines in it. Uh, how am I going to do this? So, eh, eh. No, eh. And then, do, do, do. Yay! Let's look at you from above. Wow. Well, I did say I wanted a very strange lab, so what I could do here is actually turn this into a tower it looks similar to one so do that do that that one two three four five one two Boop. and if you're wondering how i know how to make minecraft a circle i have practically memorized the minecraft circle sheet which you can find on google images or in the link down below if i can even bother to remember that probably won't know me and there there we go, now that circle there will become a tower on the lab and might do one there and then this is like the main lab area which will be perfect. Right, let's get building some walls. Now like I've said this is probably boring you to tears by now but I did say that when I'm building I won't be doing the whole speed build thing. I will literally be building it from scratch but this is just to give those people that like Minecraft something to watch, something to interact with. I would like it if I could start getting some input from you guys and maybe build a little Minecraft community around this. I, I, I love the game, I really do. I've had it since like beta something or other. So I've played this for years now. It's it's brilliant, I really do. I, I am addicted to this thing. It's the, practically near enough the only game I actually play on PC now. Kind of strange that. But yeah, so if I could get a, a nice community built around this thing, that would be great. Oh, that was a bit high, but never mind. I don't, that's the point. How high do I actually want to build these roofs? Quite high, because I want to put pipes above me. In case I need to do something that involves pipes. And I'd like them to be whizzing above my head so I can look up and see these mangled mesh of pipes. Right. Yay. Right, a bit more. I'm not just going to solely do it out of iron. I'm not that silly. I've just built the basic frame first. Da -da -dee. Let's keep building. Uh, don't you hate it when you're doing a let's play type thing and you run out of things to say? Like dinosaur and flowers. I don't know. For some reason I was going to use the word lesbian. Can't think why. Lol. Anyway, continuing on. Oh, what to say, what to say, what to say, what to say, what to say. This is made of grey stuff. Yeah, it's shiny, shiny grey stuff and chicken and flowers and yay never mind but okay uh, what else do we have on us we have ice which we don't really want that would help if I didn't click out of the damn box uh, I just got rid of the steel didn't I dumbass yeah I'll get it back it's only here might have a steel floor that actually probably would look good or I could use um, a combination of steel and machine blocks. If you put them together and you look at them both there, they contrast quite well. Now, yes, I'm using the Yog Pack, also because I'm a massive fan of the Yogs Cast. Um, everyone has their own favourite from the Yogs Cast. My personal favourite is Stin. Stinny boy, purely because he does the most amazing Minecraft builds. He's one of the reasons I'm doing this now. He just inspires me so much with some of the things he builds. Yes, he uses World Edit, but at the end of the day, the size of the things he's building, if he didn't use World Edit, he would be seriously screwed. He would be there for it like his entire life, just finishing a giant thing that he's building. I think he's currently doing Erebor at the moment. So yeah, if those of you are Lord of the Rings fans and don't know him, uh, 
put it in the search bar, Yogg's Cast Gin Let's Build Erebor or Lonely Mountain or whatever it is that he's doing at the moment. Go take a look. Seriously, you will not regret it. It is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen some pretty impressive builds in Minecraft, but he's really good. Like, I've seen a actual build of Deathwing. Deathwing, that blew me away. Um, Ragnaros as well, a massive WoW fan. Don't really play it anymore, but doesn't mean I'm not a fanboy of it still. I've uh, seen lots of crazy things being built, like pixel art is another one of my favourite things that I see. Um, any kind of pixel art, whether it be mosaic, as in in the floor, standalone pixel art, or whatever, it is brilliant stuff. Um, I think it's Miss Minecraft, or whatever she's called now. I think she did some of the most impressive ones I've ever seen. It's like built on three or four layers to add different shadows, giving it different shades of colour and stuff. That is just brilliant. And in this one episode, I built this. I know I haven't started the tower yet, but I'll do that afterwards. It is... It, it, let's be honest, it's quite hideous, really. But that will change. That will all change. The floor will be different. The walls will all be different. There will actually be ways of getting around this place. It will look nice. Um, Yeah, I, I, I have faith in this, somehow. But this was the first episode. I've been waffling on and boring you to death for long enough. If you did like this, um, comment, like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. Um, give us a few tips on if you know how to install that mod that I mentioned, I think. It, what was it again? Optifine, that was it. Um, if you know how, then that's great. If you don't, then that's still great because you watch the video all the, all the way to the end anyway. So, cool. Take care and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys!